this is all about car stars and guitars. Hang on, Terry, Arthur. Well, it's not him again, is oh. it? I don't suppose oh. you're going down to Winchester, no, are we, you? No, oh. we could, we'll drop you off at the bus station. Do you have to come? <laughs> right, let's go. Stars, cars, guitars. Hi, Alex Dyke here. Now, here's some film from our wonderful day out with the Minder Cars from that brilliant 1980s ITV comedy drama series. We visited the car's owner, Tony Page, to record a podcast episode and to get some footage and photos of us with these iconic television cars. Tony, Jim and myself grew up loving Fords, so this was a real treat for us. And Tony Page, the owner, chucked in a lovely Granada for us to muck about in as well. So we got Minder and the Sweeney all on the same day. So welcome to Stars, Cars, Guitars with the legendary guitarist Jim Cregan, international heartthrob Tony Hadley and me, Alex Dyke. And guys, look at this. Direct from the Sweeney, yeah. a classic for Granada. Is it from the Sweeney? Was this actually in it? Well, it's from the era. It's, it's, a, 19, era. it's yeah. a 1976. It's a gold <laughs> Granada gear. All to it. My mate, my best pal, Pete Hillier, he had one of these. And I was really insanely jealous because these cars, not only were they comfortable and everything, but they really, they really motored. Yeah, really really cool. motored. Brilliant, brilliant car. Yeah. And also, it's a great colour. So, are you impressed, James? Yeah, I like it. I like it. I'm not, you know, it would be nice if it was an original from the from the movie. That would, from the film, rather. Or the, or the film TV the, series. It's film TV of the TV series, series of my leg. Make a film of Actually, they did. You're right. They made two Sweeney movies. I take that back. See, yeah. yeah. See, I know my facts. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, sure, yeah. So, would you like to see something original? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come with me over here. What have you got? This is a big reveal. Oh, really? Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Ta-da! Watch. What's going to happen there? It's, it's, don't, don't look yet. It's like thun don't look yet. It's like Thunderbird. Okay. <laughs> don't look yet. Don't look yet, Tony. Tell us when to look round. I'll tell you when. No. I'll tell you when. Okay, gentlemen, take a look. Wow. So from the ITV Minder series, which started in 1979, we have Arthur Daly. Actor George Cole played Arthur Daly. There's his Daimler cardboard cutout behind. And over here we have Dennis Waterman. Now he played Terry McCann, and that is his famous Mark II Capri. These cars, I have to say, are in beautiful condition. I mean, that. For me, that is, oh, I love that. But the Capri as well. And funny enough, uh, when we did, do you remember Communication? We did a song called Communication. We had a three litre Capri that we drove down St. George's Docks down in uh, down Docklands and stuff. And I actually managed to smash it up. I was allowed to smash it up. Three litre Capri, great car. These cars are fetching so much money these yeah, days. Yeah, I wish I had one. Really? These cars are celebrities, Jim. Yes, they are. They are and they're the very beautiful. And I, 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 I'm hoping that, you know, later on I can take it down the pub. No, no, I didn't say that, did I? Well, let's see if we can... Uh, well, Tony Page, the owner, uh, he might not let you, but I think Tony Hadley would, because he's got nothing I'll, to lose. I'll let you do anything. Oh, look at that, the smell. Look at that. I'm just so envious. How did you get the cars? Um, the cars were bought from auction, um, I think, back in about 2015, 2016. Um, it was the first time I'd, the cars were actually put together. Um, and I approached the auction and uh, well, the only condition was that I needed to buy both of them because I wanted the two as a set. And um, that's what we eventually done. And you were quite lucky that, or quite fortunate that both of the cars came up at the same time from different owners into the same auction, yeah? Uh, that's right, I believe it was different owners at the time, and I think it was creative marketing by the auction group, so fair play to them. But we did make record prices for a Daimler and a Capri at the time. Tony Page was kind enough to let me try on another auction purchase. It's an Austin Reed. And that's uh, nice. is Camel, isn't it? Or is it, is it uh, it's not far off, is it? It's actually too big for you. It's too big for me? Yeah. Jimmy might be in with a chance. The famous Arthur Daly hat and coat. Wow. How much do you reckon this coat is worth? Um, it depends the day I want to sell it, doesn't it? Um, in auction, they um, they valued it between eight hundred and one thousand two hundred pounds. Um, my one and only bid in the auction was ten thousand pound. What? Plus commissions, tone, so it made it eleven thousand eight hundred quid when I walked out of it. Wow. wow. <laughs> 
the wall. It smells gorgeous. Really does. It's it smells. Really All right, Sal, I'll go down do some few deals, and on. I mean, Dennis says you probably know now. Lives in a, a place in Spain in a quite exclusive club, um, which I also attend. Anyway, um, I had a friend of ours get us to meet in a bar, um, which Dennis did um, after they treated him to a round of golf. I think he was bribed slightly before we got there. Um, and I, it was uh, agreed that I had to buy the drinks all afternoon, but that wasn't too much of a problem. But nice guy, Dennis. Met him. Um, but in fairness, Dennis has moved on from Minder a little bit now. Um, I spoke about the car, and one of his comments was Tony. He said, that was a prop in 1979. He said when we shook hands over the bonnet, and we have moved on, you know. It's a deal, done. Yeah, you will be. <laughs> Everyone I speak to says, that's Terry's Capri. That's the first thing, I even call the Capri Terry by reference. Of course. Um, but Dennis has, he wanted to talk more about new tricks and the, the Sweeney and yeah. Minder and that was, was passed for him now, you know. Oh, okay. um, yeah. You didn't get a lot of conversation there. It was lovely to speak to him, and it was an honour to be in his presence, and like you say, great guy. But he didn't start telling me about the car or what he'd done in the car or anything like that. Oh, this really brings back the memories. This two-litre Capri, for me, is such a special car. Uh, the one that Dennis Waterman used in Minder more than any other. And of course, the Capri uh, happened uh, through the Mustang, really. Uh, the, the, the people who worked on the Mustang for uh, Ford in America uh, worked on the uh, original Mark I Capri, uh, which came out in about 1969. Uh, the Mark II model, uh, early 70s for this, and it's a really, really fun car. I'm going to take it for a drive. You see this bit of plastic that has Minder written on it. You remember in the old days you'd have sort of Doris and Brian, right? Uh, on the, you know, you'd get Jim. These... There was never a Doris and Brian with the sunstrip. <laughs> so John and Julie. So when Rod Stewart wasn't looking, he had a nice Rolls Royce Corniche, and the lads and I went out and we bought one that had Rod and Alana on it, and put it on his car when he wasn't looking. <laughs> he came out, came out, took one look at it, and got got in a taxi and left. <laughs> Enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you got a good feeling yeah. about it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's going to be good. Really, it's like, I mean, it's, it's well, I like just sitting around and chatting. It's quite yeah. really easy, no, it's isn't it? It's, like, it's really I mean, cool. I'm, I'm, we're driving here. I'm thinking, how am I getting away with this? I just show up and talk. This is a beautiful Daimler V12. Um, I had the Jaguar equivalent of that. Three of them. This just brings back a lot of memories for me. This is absolutely beautiful, and you could, you just, you know, just listen. Just got a nice feel to it. Really, really lovely. Oi, don't come in, son. Who you come, don't come in my car. No, just, just, it's just got real, um, it's got that nostalgia thing about it and uh, that you don't get from new cars. It's, it's the old leather smells. It's, yeah, it's, it's the gear stick here, which is just, it's classic. All the big chunky buttons and it's just brilliant. You've got the twin uh, when, when the petrol goes out, that, that was, yes, that's the, the one you put back in again. There you go. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's, pretty, it's very comfortable, isn't it? It's got, like, it's got uh, a, a cassette recorder. It's got a cassette recorder. <laughs> love it. I absolutely love it. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, we we'll we'll go. Should we go and do a bit of a bank job? Hang on a minute. I think Jim might need some jump leads. Unless, it, unless, it's, unless it's a starter. These are old cars for you. Oh, I wasn't in the right place. Your John Thor, the Sweeney. Jack Regan, not very far from Jim Cregan is the name, really, gotta be honest. And uh, I did love the show. And now for a brief moment, I get to drive the car that was in that, uh, in that television series, or at least a very similar version of it. And uh, I'm very happy about this. And you're not getting it back. So when I leave, that's it. I'm back home with this. And you try and find me if you can, because I'm on my way to Spain. Bye. So for more rock and roll and car talk, join us on Stars, Cars, Guitars and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.